Okay, it's been 280 seconds. We're going to go ahead and remove the compensator jar with the compensator from the ultrasonic cleaner. And there's something I did forget to mention. I've got about 28 ounces of water in my ultrasonic cleaner and that brings up the water level right to about the height of the solution, my acid solution. So as you can see that the acid solution is pretty dirty. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. Get our neutralizing solution ready which is just roughly a half teaspoon of palm olive dishwashing detergent and a half teaspoon of baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and that'll neutralize our compensator so then we can touch it and work on it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Place that in. Close up my jar immediately. You don't want to breathe this. I'm going to set that out of the way. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning all the ports. So I'm going to put on my nitrile gloves and I'm just going to pick the compensator up and I'm going to start by cleaning each one of the ports out. There's, there's two rows of eight ports. So the exhaust ports you just simply once in and once out with the brush. And you can see that film that comes off. You want to remove that. The reason why is that's going to drastically slow down your cleaning time. So all I want to do is I want to do that in each one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the first, first row is done. You can see that black dripping out. Then I'm going to start on the second row. One, two, three, four. Count them because you'll, you'll lose count. You forget five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the, the ports are clean. All that dissolved lead, that film on there, is off. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean the inside of the compensator. I'm going to start by the back side of the compensator. I'm going to use this compensator brush and it's the perfect width or diameter of the inside of the compensator. So I just run that around a few times. It's spiraled. Pull that out and you can see how black that is. Rinse that off. Now on the front side of the compensator you want to take this cone-shaped compensator brush and that's going to clean on the front inside. So I'm just going to place it in like this, pull it through, and pull it towards the front. And then just spin it like this. And then bring it back out. And of course this automatically cleans the front of the compensator. Okay, so that's basically done. Now we're going to run it through again, but I want to check and see how clean this thing is and we'll take a look at it. So I just want to give it a rinse and it's just plain water. And I use my reverse osmosis water or you can use bottled water. Okay. And let's take a close up look at this. I'm going to get the water off of there so we can see what the color looks like on that compensator. As you can see, it's pretty much removed all that carbon haze. Notice how nice and matte finish the anodized coating is. And I'll run this another 280 seconds, but it's, it's pretty clean. It doesn't take long in the ultrasonic cleaner. This same procedure is going to be done if you do it manually. You'll let it soak a half hour to 60 minutes and then pull it out, brush it with the compensator brushes and then back in, into the, uh, or soak it manually or back into the compensator or into the ultrasonic cleaner with the, uh, the uh, compensator cleaner. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this in one more time. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay. And I'm going to run it another 280 seconds. And we'll see you back in 280 seconds. Okay, we're back with our second run at 280 seconds. And let's see how clean she is. Okay, we're finishing up on round number three. Okay, it's round number four, 280 seconds per round. Let's pull it out and see how it looks. Okay, you can see a little gray in the solution, but you can tell not as bad as before. But we're gonna go ahead and run our compensator brushes through and check. Okay, we'll check our ports. Okay, that brush is moving in nice and smooth, in and out nice and smooth. So there's, I can tell there's nothing left in those exhaust ports. And I can see a little gray in the water here, not bad. I'm going to do a final rinse and a wipe down and check it. And I think that's going to be pretty much this compensator, that's it. I mean, I'm splitting hairs at this point. There's such minute a little bit of amount of lead in there. But I could do another round and get 100% all of it out. This. Let me blow it out. Take a look inside. I'm going to call this one quits. I could go one more round. There's a couple little specks in there, but I'll tell you what, that's that's as clean as, that's like brand new. You get a close-up look of that. I don't know if you can see the inside of that. But it's like brand new. Now this thing's been cleaned dozens of times. So like I said, 250, 300 rounds every time I clean the gun, I do them, or at least every other time. And I literally have a whole bag of compensators to clean. They all clean a little bit differently, but anyways, I'll, I'll be doing videos on all those compensators. But that's it. Figure on 280 seconds, 300 rounds, four times in your parasitic acid solution. Uh, the compensator kit will be available. We'll have a link on the bottom of each video. It'll be available right around Thanksgiving. So have all the tools that you've seen me use, the compensator stainless steel brushes, stainless steel tweezers with the rubber tips, all the compensator jars, They'll be available as a compensator cleaning kit, very inexpensive. So thank you for watching, and remember, get the lead out. Thank you.